All right, everyone, so now we are finished with the top, and um, I can just set that to the side, and um, I have six squares in the top right here, and I have eight squares that I'm going to have in the bottom. So I made three stacks, so I'm going to have um, three rows of eight around the whole bottom portion. And now I'm gonna just set the top aside and I'm gonna start joining those eight there. So I'm starting here and I'm going to join them exactly like I did before. So I'm inserting my um, yarn in the corners there and I'm just going to, you know, just join it exactly like I did before. But this time what's going to be a little bit more uh, complicated or maybe not more complicated, but you're not going to be just joining one together. You're going to be joining eight together. So you're just going to keep on going down this row and join eight. And um, you're not going to cut your yarn or anything of that nature. So. Again, you're starting exactly like before, so you're starting in that back loop of the right side and then the back loop of the left side. And you're going to keep your yarn in the middle and you're just going to make a slip stitch through both. And I swear, I can never get this right when I'm trying to lay it flat. And I really tried to lay it flat and do it and I just can't get it. I have to put it back to back to get this. And so I'm just doing the same thing there, you see. So I'm starting in that back loop there, and then I'm just pulling through all of it. That's a slip stitch through all of the loops on my hook. So the back loop of the right, the back loop of the left, and then I'm going to pull through everything there. And again, it's the same process as earlier. So you've joined several now, so you know how this goes. You do back loop of right, back loop of left, and then you pull through all of it. And um, that single chain space can be a little bit weird working in it again. So just remember um, that that can be a little bit hard to work into. It's been a minute since we've done it now. So, um, since we were making rows on the uh, on the top so you might forget a little bit how to do it but you'll get the hang of it again pretty quickly here and so i'm just doing right side left side and then pulling through everything so i bring up a, the back loop on the right side bring up the back loop on the left side and then i pull through all three loops on my hook and then i keep on going and remember to do this loosely as same as before, make sure you're doing this loosely. Um, that way it doesn't get all bunched up and look weird when it after it's done. So you don't want to make it too tight and make sure you're using the same hook that you've used to crochet with. And with my skirt, like I said, I have did six on the top and eight on the bottom. But you may have different numbers than me. You may have um, different... Um, amounts that you need that's just going to depend on your particular size how many um, granny squares you have on top and how many granny squares on bottom that's just going to be um, dependent on your size or the size of the person you're making it for and it also will depend on your hook size too and your yarn size if you use smaller or larger you'll have more or less than I have what's really important is that you just get the inches that you need And I am going to cut this video after I get all eight done. So then you can see what all eight look like combined. So here I have all eight done right here. So, and I've done, done all three rows of all eight. So I have joined eight in three rows. And so now I'm going to join those rows together. So, and this is going to be a long one also, and I'm going to do that again, exactly like I was doing it before. So I'm going to insert my hook in that back loop there for the right side, insert my hook in the back loop on the left side. And then I'm going to keep my yarn in directly in the middle. And then I'm just going to um, pull through the yarn and then I'm going to keep on going exactly like that. And um, here you can tell that 
I've put the wrong sides together. So make sure you are, when you do put it together, make sure you're putting the wrong sides together, not the, not the right sides together. So the wrong sides are what's inside of the dress. The, the correct side would be the outside of the dress. And you continue this again all the way down and you're going to finish this one completely all the way down. And when you get to the corners or when you get to the end of the granny squares where you've joined them at, so each time you get to the end of one section of granny squares, you're going to have um, little bits of yarn that you've joined with sticking out. So make sure when you're connecting those that you put that little piece of yarn on what's going to be the wrong side or the inside of the dress instead of um, letting it hang out on the outside. And then after um, you get all these put together, those we can tie together so it'll make it a bit sturdier. And so again, I'm joining this same thing just all the way down. So join, join this whole row of eight that you just joined the eight granny squares together. So join this whole row of eight together. And sometimes in the, uh, when I get to those corners that I've already joined, sometimes I like to make two um, slip stitches there just so I've made it really, really secure. You don't have to do that. I just like make sure it's very secure. I don't want to take the chance of something pulling or the wrong way or something looking kind of weird there. So I'm just going to um, make sure that those are really, really secure when I get um, to that point. And I did speed this up again so you don't have to just sit here and watch me join a bunch of these together. So here I'm getting close to that um, to those joints there on the end and you work them the same way that you did before so I'm just working those that same way and see where I have right there that thread or the yarn so I'm tucking that on the inside and that's important that's what you need to do is just tuck that right there on the inside and so I'm going through the same that one right there and you can see how I've got it just a little bit loose and that's good. I want it to be a little bit loose there. Um, that way it doesn't bunch up and it can kind of be hard to get that little scrap of yarn that you've cut to stay in the back. But um, make sure that you just kind of move that to the back and get it to stay there and then just, just keep on going. And I do have a little bit of trouble. Sometimes I have to hook it with the actual hook in to get it to go in right. Sometimes it can just take a minute there. And again, just keep on going. And you can fast forward or stop this as needed. So just remember, you don't have to go the same pace that I'm going. Fast forward, stop as needed. As soon as you get what you're going and what the what you're doing and what the goal is here, which now the goal is to these eight rows just to um, slip stitch them together, and you're doing that again exactly the way you did before. And I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this one, but that's okay. Sometimes that's how it is. Just and here I just skip forward in the um, recording just a little bit. I finished that row, so I've connected two of the rows of eight together. See? And now I'm going to connect the third of the row of eight together. So I'm going to connect what I've um, what I've already done. So the two rows, I'm going to connect one more row to those two rows here. And how I'm going to do this is again exactly like before. And you can see my yarn now is in a huge, huge mess. I've got to uh, untangle it just a little bit here. It took me a minute. I finally got my yarn untangled and so now I'm going to do exactly like I did before. I'm going to start in those corners. I'm going to start on that back loop. I'm going to do the right side back loop, left side back loop, and then just pull it through the yarn through like before. So exactly 
the same exact way as before. And again, if you do get um, off a stitch here or there, you can always make that up. You can always just kind of fudge it a little bit. It's okay if two stitches go into one, that, that type of thing. It's, it's going to be absolutely fine. You don't have to go through and undo the whole thing just because one little stitch is messed up. So now, again, I'm just um, connecting the same exact way um, that I did before. It's just a very long run now, and you have um, more that's connected already. And I'm having a little bit of a hard time working into that back loop there, and that's okay. You see how the that loop on the end, so the loop that's closest to the... Uh, and that I'm holding it with, how that one's always a little bit looser. So that's what you want. You want that back one to be just a little bit looser. That way it doesn't bunch up on you at all. And so just continuing to go back and forth. And I'm not going to bore you with me doing the whole thing. I will cut the video. I just want you to still get the get the same drift that I put the wrong sides together so what's going to be on the inside of the dress together and then I'm just going down that whole line of the eight granny squares that I've made and again you may have more granny squares than me or you may have less than me but you're still you're everything that's there for the actual skirt portion so each row that you made for the skirt portion now you're just connecting those rows that you've already made and I did to speed it up just a little bit here and again also make sure that the yarn that you cut that you're putting in the back or in the side that's going to be on the inside of the dress because you don't want those sticking out at all and you can do that afterwards it's just easier to do it um, right now as opposed to doing it later. So now I've got the end of this row, so I'm going to cut my yarn, and I'm just gonna pull that through to make a knot on that end. And so now I've got every single one of my uh, rows of eight attached. So I'm gonna turn it around to the back side, or the, what's gonna be the inside of the dress, and I'm just gonna tie those in a knot. So I'm gonna tie them a couple of times. Um, you know, tie it where it's tight, but don't tie it where it's too tight. You don't want it to bunch up. See how I did that and it bunched up there? So make sure if that happens that you pull that so it's not going to bunch up. And just do that with every single joint there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie each one of those unions. But um, also, I'm, going, I'm not going to work these in. I'm not going to weave these ends in. I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to put a little bit of fabric glue on them so it holds well. Now, if you want to um, weave those ends in instead of doing... Um, the fabric glue you can some people find it really relaxing weaving in ends um i i just don't so if that's what you want to do then you can go right ahead and weave in those ends um but i'm just going to cut them and i'm going to put some fabric glue on it so it holds it really really well now since i'm done with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch both ends of three together. So those ends I'm making a circle with. And um, so I should have three rows that are all stitched together. And now I'm going to make a circle with that. So I'm going to finish off my circle here. And remember to put the back sides together. So the back sides are um, together. And then you're going to continue to work in that right side back loop left side back loop and just pulling up the stitch there and i messed that one up so i took it out and i'm going to uh, try it again and so then this way you we're doing pretty much the same thing you were doing before you're just going all the way down that row of three now instead of eight because you're putting those sides together And you just continue doing that all the way down until you get to the end. And now I've gotten to the end 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to pull through and I'm going to again turn it over on the back side. So let me turn this over and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So I'm just going to tie those, those joints, those two joints together. And make sure you don't get it too tight like that. Just make sure you don't get it too tight. Make sure you can still pull it some. You, d you just don't want it to bunch up. And now I'm going to put this on the right side. So the correct side, the side that's going to be facing the outside, I should say. So here are all of my eight rows or my three rows of granny squares, eight each. So, so all of these ends, I'm not going to do anything with them just yet. Um, at the end, I am going to end up weaving those in on um, the part that connects to the actual dress itself. But on the other end, I'm going to crochet over those. So now here's where the math that we did earlier really comes in. So on that shirt, on the shirt or top portion, I had the 146 stitches and on the bottom portion, I have 176 stitches. So I am going to need to fit 176 into 146. That means I have 30 extra stitches that I need. And um, you can see here how the um, skirt portion is wider than the um, top portion right there. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to divide, divide the number 30, which is the extra stitches I need, by 146, and that gives me 4.8. So I'm going to round that up to 5. So roughly every 5 stitches that I attach on the 5th stitch, I need to put two from the skirt portion into one stitch from the top portion. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This also is where you need to decide, decide where you want your front and back. So I like the back part is where I joined everything. So um, it's not as noticeable as it would on the back as it would be from the front. So on the, um, so I always join like in the middle of what is going to be the back of the dress. Now I'm going to take my yarn needle and my thread and um, I'm going to stitch it up this way. You can use the method that we already used um, and go the uh, and join it just exactly like we did the granny squares. Um, I want this to look a little bit more seamless so that's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to um, join it with my needle and thread here and what I'm going to do is I am going to um, put my needle and I'm going to tie it in the back side of my shirt portion there and um, it doesn't matter if you do the shirt or the skirt portion either one is totally totally fine you can tie it into either one I'm just going to um, put it through a couple of loops right there and I'm going to actually make a knot and tie it into place. And I'm going to do that just a couple of times, two or three, just to make sure it's really, really secure. And then I'm going to go into my first stitch there on my shirt section. So I'm just going to pull that through that stitch and again it could be any stitch it's just the first one you're going to work with and I'm going to put it through a stitch and it could be again any stitch on your skirt section it doesn't have to be that middle but since this is where I want my middle to be and that's in the since I had six squares on the top I went right in the middle started right in the middle of that square and then I started right in the middle of that skirt portion so I could make sure it's all lined up the way I want it to be lined up. But you can do it any way you want it. So so here I've done two so far and I'm just going into the skirt stitch and then a stitch for the shirt. And then I'm just keeping on doing that. I'm going to do that for five 
and I'm just gonna keep going on here. And that first stitch that you're joining with, you could go through that one just a couple of times just to make sure it's really, really secure. That's always a good idea there. And I always make my yarn when I'm doing this very long because I'm always afraid I'm going to run out and have to retie it and do all that stuff all over again. But when I get to number five, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make join two stitches into one. So right here, so this stitch that I'm going to right here. So you see that stitch, that this one was my number five. So right here, that was five. And that next stitch, I'm gonna go into that next stitch, but then I'm gonna go into the same stitch on the top. So I'm doing the next stitch on the skirt, but then I'm going into the same exact stitch on the top, and then I'm just going to pull that tight. And then I'm gonna keep going in the same pattern that I've done. So the next stitch on the skirt, and then the next stitch on the shirt. And I'm going to um, sew those through, and I'm going to do that five times. So there's one there again. And then the next stitch on the skirt and the next stitch on the shirt. And I'm going through both of those loops too. If you can see it right there, I'm going through both of those loops. So that was number two. And then I'm gonna find the next one. So there's the next one on the skirt and the next one on the shirt or on the top. And then you're gonna pull through and that one's number three there. And when you pull that up, see how I was pulling that um, yarn up? That's, if you can't tell, then that's a good way to tell the last stitch you went in. So that one was four, and this one is going to be number five now. So I'm just pulling the yarn all the way through. And so this next one again, so the next one on the skirt and the same one on the shirt. So after number five, you're going to do the next stitch on the skirt, but you're going to go through the same stitch on the skirt on the shirt. And you're just going to repeat that. And um, where I marked that, I can just go ahead and take that out now. And I'm going to do that all the way down. And you see how that makes it look really even? I love the way that looks when you stitch it up like that. And look, see, I didn't uh, secure that very well. Now did I? So it came apart. That joint came apart. So I need to go back through and I need to reattach that joint. So what I didn't do at the end of that, I did not chain one and then pull it tight. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna pull that tight so that stitch is set into place. And now I'm just gonna keep on going all the way down exactly like I have been. And here I just lost count a little bit. So if you lose count, you can tell which one you made, um, which one you made the um, two stitches into one in because it'll kind of pull that direction. So you can see which one you did that with. And again here, I'm continuing that all the way down. So I'm making, I'm making um, five, I'm joining five stitches. So um, five stitches in the shirt, I'm joining to five stitches in the skirt. And then on that fifth stitch, or after I make that fifth stitch, what I'm doing is I am um, going into the next stitch on the skirt, and I'm joining it with that same exact stitch on the on the shirt that I've already went into. Hopefully that's not too confusing for you. Hopefully I um, ex hopefully you could see it well enough in the uh, in the video. And at the corners, what I'm doing also, just so you know, so at the corners, what I'm doing is I am doing more than one slip stitch into the corner there. So that way um, it holds it tighter again. So I'm doing, or I'm connecting it into that corner there more than once. So I'm doing it twice in each uh, corner when I get to the corners of those granny squares. So here now, I've decided that I'm going to tie this in the back so I don't have to uh, think about it or worry about it coming undone. So now I'm just continuing this all the way around um, exactly like I was doing before. And you can, um, you can go through a few and then tighten them all at once like I'm doing there. And here I'm getting to um, the end of one granny square. So I'm going through that twice. Each corner I'm going through twice like that. And then the next corner there, 
I'm going through twice again. So there's once, twice, and then I'm going to continue my five count. And here now I've got it all done so it's all connected. And I'm just going to um, pull the yarn through and then I'm going to fasten it off. So here you just pull it through, stitch that's close, and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to tie it at the end there. So I've got something I can tie it to right there, which is where the, the uh, yarn that I started with. So you can tie it to the yarn I started with and I'm going to tie it three times. So make three knots and I'm going to secure that and then I'm going to um, cut it. And those ends I'm not going to worry about. The ends on the other part I'm going to crochet right over those so I'm not going to worry about those ends. And the next part that we're going to do is that we're going to start along the bottom of the, um, of the dress. So we're going to finish up the bottom of the dress next. And here you can see what it's looking like. I think it's looking super, super cute. You can see that the skirt is a little bit fuller than what the top is. I like the color changes. I think that looks great. And um, the rows at the top, they've, it's all just come together really, really nicely. So I do really love the way that it's all come together. So I'm gonna finish this video here with this. And then the next video, we're going to finish off the bottom and the top of the dress. So I'm going to make my finishing rounds on those. And then after that, we're going to do the straps. Um, before you get to that, make sure you either weave in those ends or you cut them all and um, glue them with the fabric glue. That way they don't come out. And I will see you at the next video.